Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. My name's Rocky, and welcome back to Dubona, The Complete Journey. In the last episode, we had the recording fail of the not my game audio was not recording. This time, time I'm going to make sure that it is recording before I continue more. More. Excuse me for a second. And yep. Now I should be. So now we should be hearing audio. <laughs> so I do not want that mistake to happen again. Again, in the last episode that happened, and also us being realizing that a lot of people are after the girl that we helped save, and we're trying to be the first one to save him. So. Go this way. Huh, this is a map of I'd better ask. Oh. Hello again. Hey, uh, uh, Rufus. Exactly. How does that detonate? Oh, the chief detonator used then, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part, and after that. Right, thanks. Oops. How does that detonation Looks plan of yours really work again? It. Oh! I it's very simple. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will, on his part, prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. Right, thanks. Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh, Rufus. Exactly. I feel like we're missing something. I don't know if I'm doing everything correctly or did it backtrack me? Any other things that. And then I never actually went to the post office last time. time. Stop right there! The post office. <coughs> the post office is closed until further notice. Until no. when? Until the sign says that it's open. But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now, get away from that door. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. And let's on detonation plan. Let's do this and this. Blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! Whoa. So, motion expert. <laughs> I would have earned the one, but I guess the 63 will have to do. Stop! 
Stop right there! Where do you think you're going? I'll go to Elysium with Goal. In that case, you're in the wrong place! This door leads to the mayor's office, and access is strictly by numbers only! So draw a number, or bugger off! Hello, Lottie. You again? <clears throat> you, you again? I'll skedaddle. Don't let the... I think it's my turn now. Wrong! You'll be... <clears throat> You'll be after the next. It's Wenzel's turn before that. But Wenzel isn't even here. That's why it isn't your turn yet! Oh, yeah. That's so typical. I mean, even when he's not around, Wenzel's always holding me back. Penny. See, you can convince Wenzel. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No, you're getting this all wrong. I saved her. Of course you did. I want my heirloom back. A deal is a deal. Oh, come on. We're friends, aren't we? And friends stay true to their word. Oh, yeah? And that's written down where, exactly? Just forget it. Later. Exactly. Let's go back, I guess. Do, 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 do. This way, maybe. Lonzo? Yeah? Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. <laughs> well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... <laughs> idiots are quarreling. Yes. Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? 
Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? <laughs> no, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo, are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. <laughs> I saw this before, but it's still funny. <laughs> and one of the times that my recording failed. Oh failed boy, this is it. This is play. the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, wow! You have pipes, tanks, valves. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. This is an espresso machine, but. This is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? espresso. <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor mm. following all the instructions that uh -huh. I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients are needed. Take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Ho, 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 ho. I'm so excited. <laughs> What a scroll. Okay, I need clear, reviving, and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Kuba. Yeah, never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Um, can't pick up anything else in this area. is opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Nice. Let's go to the emergency station. Mm -hmm. I can pick up these tools. Cool. Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. Inspect that to work. <laughs> that was, was going to be more funny in this town. Okay, we'll go set. <laughs> <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard.
It's too yes. heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. Gloves. Nice. Strike. Escape. No great in the world. There, while you were blinking. I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. Oh no, I wasn't looking for <laughs> Look. 
Lobos. Well, that makes sense. Ah! Ah! Uh -huh. Brilliant idea, Rufus! What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well-chilled glass of Nat's piss? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it worked. That upset you. Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever <laughs> liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. Draw blood from an enraged bull? <laughs> Child's play. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Bull's blood. Check. Oh, Tony Simpson. I forgot where I was going. <laughs> I thought it was those peppers, but I remember there was peppers in Tony Simpson. For those of you that watch this series, feel free to let me know in the comments what you're enjoying so far about this series.
I said hands off. Yeah, but you always say stuff. Take your feet <laughs> off the table. Don't let wild predators loosen the apartment. Send medicine to Grandma. But I can't do everything at once. A and look, you don't see my feet anywhere near a tabletop, do you? Ah! Stay calm, Tony. Stay calm. Take a deep breath. I said hands off. Yeah, but you take your... But I can't do everything at once. A and look, you don't see my feet anywhere near a tabletop, do you? Ah! Stay calm, Tony. Stay calm. Take a deep breath. What was that again about the gift vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. And no, you can't have them as a gift. And why are they called gift vouchers? You know, Tony, I've been through a lot lately. <laughs> you don't say. If you didn't injure yourself all the time, I wouldn't have any fun in my life at all. But in case something happens to you again, you know where to find my first aid kit. You wouldn't have some coffee somewhere around here, would you? <laughs> Since you've been staying with me, I've only had decaf. And even that is too strong. Maybe I should finally get rid of the coffee grinder. It's just using up space, like you. I need some ingredients. If there's nothing in the fridge, you won't be getting anything else. No, I mean... End of discussion. Start earning your own money, and you'll be able to buy your own food. I'd like to buy something. With what? Or did you get a job recently that I don't know anything about? Well, I'll pay you back. Really? Oh! How's business? Like, uh, when did that interest you ever? Who says I take an interest? I'm just being extremely polite. <laughs> First and foremost, you have an extremely distorted view of yourself. Oh, that's because my reflection in the mirror is so blindingly <laughs> bright. Oh! I've got to go. <sighs> I've been sped here. You still are. I said hands off. Yeah, but you always say stuff. Take your... But I can't do everything. And look. Ah! Stay calm, Tony. Stay calm. Take a deep breath. I need some ingredients. If there's nothing in the fr... No. And start... I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. <laughs> You'll never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. <laughs> Why so cranky? Why? You have destroyed my mailbox, devastated my backyard, gobbled down <laughs> all my food supplies, and if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Uh, nothing. What was that again about the... G They're get you hand and no... You can't... Then why are they... I've got to go. <sighs> but here... I said hands off. Yeah, but you take your feet. But I can't do it. And look. Ah! Stay calm. Take a deep. Hands off my. Hands my. Wait. All the. Wait. All the things. Well, there we go. Black powder.
out this way. Spent too much time and I already had the key. Oops. <laughs> I got the key last episode. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Okay, I've done this so far. I thought I had to. as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart, um... Open and want the vouchers. Let me see if they can become more chrome. What the? A dart? A little longer. And uh, oh, what am I getting mad at anyway? Strike. Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? And while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. Oh. I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Um, just, just a moment. What? Uh. Did you mention weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those, those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I counted them. This could easily be a nifty miniature version of my free-floating crane. Hmm, all that's missing is some gas for the balloon. There's a basement. 
Realize that. <laughs> it tasted of window putty anyway. If only the balloons weren't sagging so miserably, like Wenzel. No one will do for now. This wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. Just a little bit more of the and substance because there's this story. more of a story where not all of him Stickman had a story throughout, to be honest. Blah! Wenzel. His tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. But as we're getting to the next thing, feel free to like the video if you enjoy this. So far, and I know that I'm not speaking too much just because I keep wanting to make sure the voice lines are said, but finding that right balance <laughs> to say the least. But I do other things on this channel, so if you this is the first thing you've seen, feel free to check out everything else. Now, let's get back. Wenzel? I'm down here! Come quick! You won't believe your eyes! <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. <laughs> Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... 
Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod. You are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me, and now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment, the moment of triumph. Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my teeth. I see. I'm rich! <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Ah, Rufus, I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor was very excited to hear about my discovery. He believes the water vein might make Kulvac one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now... It looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? Huh, don't make me laugh. What? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvac. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her. And I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, I'm... Next up, number 63, please. Is it my turn already? Yes, it is. I already <coughs> called your number, didn't I? Rufus, so how... Well, I... Lotech, I have to talk to you. It's about... Lotech? Uh, what? Who's disturbing me? Whoa. Are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. Huh. Well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind, too. B be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, wow. the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? I'm here for the Elysian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But, but I saved her life. I find that hard to believe, considering you're responsible for 90% of all injuries that happen in Kuvac. Well, but... 90% of those ha have been my own injuries. Listen, Rufus. Whenever chaos breaks out in Kuvac, you are responsible for it. As far as I know, you might even be responsible for that girl falling from the sky. Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But it was me who found her. 
As far as I know, it was Panic who found her. Well, I found her first. And you just left her lying there? Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But I have to help her return to her world. To Elysium? <laughs> That's a good joke. You should know better than anyone else that there's no way to leave Deponia. Nothing that ends up on Deponia will ever leave again. My dad made it. That's neither probable nor verifiable. I know that's what you'd like to believe, but I believe it's more likely that your father ended up crashing into some trash heap. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. That's too bad. How exceptionally reasonable of you. I've made my decision, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally! There is a god! Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. You bet. Oh, now what? What? Instead of just moving the desk, my dad preferred messing with the planet's magnetic field? Well, he was the most egocentric and stubborn person I've ever met. That's a lie! Oh yeah? Why do you think he left you here? Because he didn't care about anyone but himself. Not even his own son. Not even for his own son. Pretty mm -hmm. ironic that you've become just as egotistic as he was back then. Egotistic? Me? Ha! Just recently, I risked my own life to save a girl from the clutches of the Organon. Completely without ulterior motives, I suppose. You better believe it. My ass. Ah, you'll be surprised, Low Tech. I will save the girl. And then everyone on this planet will realize how selfless I really am. But then it'll be too late, because then I'll already be sitting in some cocktail lounge in Elysium and laughing about you fools and how you still have to live in this junkyard. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I can't stop thinking about what you said. That my father manipulated. Well, get over it. Your father installed that device for a reason. He manipulated the magnetic field so he could sleep in harmony with the field lines. I can't imagine how that's supposed to work. Well, it does work. I sleep like a baby. <sighs> The only downside is that carrier pigeons are constantly crashing into my window. <laughs> the girl belongs- Wrong! I've already- I'm stuck. Are we done? No. Well? A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Yeah, this could have been my idea. <laughs> like dad's secret will see the light of day after all. <laughs> a key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I'd get for it if I melt it down. Wow. <laughs> Necessarily complicated, but I'm certain Dad wanted to make sure that I'm the only one who could get this far, get to his big secret, his legacy. His liquor cabinet. Hmm. 
I must have found clear water, obviously. <laughs> How can I get this bitch to be wet? That's the next thing on the thing that I need. Thank you, Rick. Oh, Tony, sing it. Yeah, that makes sense. the direction this is taking at all. Ouch! Damn it! That's hot! A sponge. Then... I need to clean the truck. Use the truck yet. Definitely feeling better today than I was last week. Probably because of the frustration I had. <laughs> Covered in tasteless pink leatherette, a puppet is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's sign it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rufus. Exactly. About my key again. Again? Well, if you insist. What was your name again? Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, Sugar Puff, but I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink, you say? That sounds about right. And, uh, do you have a special hobby? I, uh, love the ballet. <laughs> Bullseye! Then this must be your key. This must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I could just explode. Really? I might have a one-time job for you down in the mine. Let's go to the truck. See if there's any new clues, because we have the key. <laughs> but the mine <laughs> came a part-time job. Sometimes we wish it jobs of that okay. means.
Do I have the drill? Yes, I do. I want the battery acid, and I have a dentist drill. <laughs> That's almost too convenient. Ah! Ow! <laughs> yeah! Ow! I've siphoned the acid without injuring myself. I'll drink to that. Well, I think we have uh, in the recipe. Yep. And the Lanza. What exactly am I supposed to do? It's all real. Just bring me till then I'll do some fun. Okay. I'll be off then. Getting all the You do. I'll be off then. Getting all the You do. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The water's still lacking. Hmm. Isn't coffee powder? Mm. Isn't coffee powder supposed to be? Mm. The recipe says something. Isn't coffee powder? Mm. Isn't coffee pow- mm. Huh, black. <laughs> huh, black. I couldn't- Huh, black. <laughs> huh, blackish powder. <laughs> Lonzo's been few. Lonzo's been few. Hmm. This for one. I think I'm making good progress. Cool. I already have the special water at least. Into the tank you go. Ah, there'll be what I need. I could mix those things in a blender. I could mix.
I could I could nick There's a blender. Wire Wait Where was the grinder? Keep seeing grinder not there. Do I really get them back here? As we're working, just turn the thing up. Mr. Brandy. One whole. A pinch of black powder. A stim stimulant. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer, <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. Okay. Going back to Lonzo. Do, 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 do. Bum 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 Hmm. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful! Yes. I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso verse. Holy smoke. Nice. <laughs> more pressure! More pressure! Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> are we are we dead? No. Being dead
that feels completely different. Oh. As you know, I have gazed deep into Death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. Ouch! Whew! <laughs> I think this brew is gonna do Stand the job. Stand well. Did someone order a spice though? Gosh. Not necessary. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> See how that works? <laughs> Dozer. He has blatantly nicked the bird as much. Oh, gosh. Why am I thinking? Why is it that you have to do this? I don't. Someone in that never thought about this. This part I had to look at that guy. He was. I don't want to know what to do with that hit. Hey, Tony! I have a present for you! Hello! Hello! Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and. Insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff, and he doesn't even have lice. Wow! So he's the exact opposite of you! Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you, so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony! Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, there's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out. Get out! Ugh. Ah! I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! Ah, poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Poor Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus, is it no good, Nick? Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> what are you doing? I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, don't have expired. Ah! <laughs> Cheap lies. Is my doctor slash firefighter slash jailer? I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, 
Is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already <laughs> tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. <laughs> I'll bet Fire Officer Gizmo would like that. I'll keep that idea in mind. Oh, it's attached firmly. <laughs> I'll bet I'll keep that up. I'll bet Fire Officer Gizmo. I'll keep that eye. I think I'm close to Fire and Albert. Any go to go? Not necessary. What's that stinging smell? That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? Huh, you tell me. Let's say it together. Me. me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. Me. You. Ah, I win. Oh, crap. Never. My inventory and Tony... What's that 
funny smell. Ah, fire! The town hall's on fire! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry, your fire will be extinguished in no time. Finally, I was getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoop. Where was I? Ah, yeah. Medical mo- How's the patient? I'd say- Leave the di- Now, just where is- My stethoscope, it's gone! Thieves! Police mode activate. No one leave. Ah. Ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Lotech. Don't you ever forget that. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? What? <laughs> That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mayor has finally been solved. Thieving oh, mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well, you're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested <laughs> you first. Wow. You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. <laughs> you can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested Almost you first. Did. I just have to make so sure what? that I. You're fired anyway. No, you I'm can't fire the... me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. Not necessary. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, oh. What happened? You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl, and then you got knocked out. Dole? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I... Talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. No problem. Thanks, Doctor. Goal? It's me, your savior. Pops? No, it's Rufus. Yes? Pops? You can give me any name you like, babe. Say, did it hurt a lot when you fell from the sky? <laughs> uh... Oh, come on, that was funny. Uh... Because, I mean, you you really fell from the sky, you know, like an angel. <laughs> Just like in the, in the pickup line. <laughs> did, did, did you get it? Hello? Anyone home? Home, 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 home. 
I'll take that as a yes with limitations. Get hold of yourself. Soup, 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 soup. soup. Guadeloupe. Huh. She's attractive and fun to talk to. Ah, uh, flash dash gazash. <laughs> Savvy mommy, good oh granny. Grumblump? That's a false num 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 num. Munch crunch? <laughs> Munch crunch? Attack a tick tock. Oh! Knock knock. Heck, this is totally useless. That woman is completely nuts. Bonkers, honker, kazonkers. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? Elysium. We need to go back to Elysium. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick. We need to go back. To Elysium. Yes, yes. You, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? What? No, I'm not. M my name is Rufus. I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand. Where am I? Y you had a pretty bad fall. The doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's confusing, but... Yikes. <sighs> I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is Cletus? My fiancé. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. After all, you... He'll reward you generously. Oh, that, uh, generously, you say? Try to contact Cletus. He will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous exactly is generous? Maybe you can reach him using a radio. He's certainly trying to find me. Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Mm-hmm. The burden of the hero. But let's get back to the expression, generous. Rufus, please, contact Cletus. I would be so very thankful. Oh. So very, very, very thankful. thankful. I'm sorry, I don't know if I can do that. Can someone Tom Polo Lollipop? Peekaboo. But. Utam Swadikosu Loka Shootapop. Oh, the burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous? Alrighty. And that's. Next thing down. Down. Then we'll, we'll end it off here. Uh, a good spot. And next time on the Ponder, the complete journey. And if I timed this correctly, like I promised you guys on Twitter and YouTube and stuff like that, depending on on when you saw it. I promise to do a double upload, so right now I'm hoping to time it to where once this episode is done, the next episode will be out within five minutes of this episode. So if you want to make sure that you see the double upload for today's, for those of us that are watching this when it came out, for those of you that are watching it after five, it will be the next video on your playlist. So feel free to continue watching. But this has been right here. Here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like if you did. And have a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Depending on when you're watching this video. See you next time. Peace.